On this particular motorcycle, uh, it's a mid-70s bike. The tank that we decided to use, the elongated tank, wouldn't fit properly on that one. So uh, we immediately, the first thing that came to mind is, is just cut it, chuck it. So unlike buying a seat or, you know, um, getting a seat off the shelf to try and mount it on that frame, it's very complex, right? You've got to find bracketry, you've got to make some mounts, all that kind of stuff. This one, you make it to fit that frame. And when it's done and when you take that fiberglass out of the shell, it's going to mount and sit exactly like it's supposed to. So it's a great process. It's, it's an awesome process. For less than 100 bucks, you got a really cool looking seat. All right, so um, what we're going to do is first step is we're just going to adhere all these blocks with some uh, spray adhesive. This is pretty cheap. I mean, right here on this table, we we'll probably have about $15 worth of materials. I think the most expensive thing is that spray adhesive right there. This is extremely tacky stuff. Last thing you really want is this shit to come apart while you're forming it and cutting it. Okay, so we'll start here. All right, so this is gonna be our base for our seat. And we're, like every cafe racer, it's got a little uh, bump. That's it, we'll give this about an hour to dry. And we'll start from there. Looks like a seat already. All right, so now that we've got this stuff all nice and set, we can uh, start figuring it out. So first thing, we'll try to cut that hump. some channels in here so I can sit on the rail. Okay, I think we're almost there. So now the fun begins. What I need to do is I need to figure a basic design cut it up and see how it looks. See, the nice thing about this stuff is, really easy to work with. Starting to look at a cafe seat, no? Each one is individual and different, so they all come out slightly different. Got to try and make it at least to resemble the other one. You know, a lot of people ask me, you know, can you make me one of those seats? No, I can't. Not without your bike. I need the frame. The last thing I do is I use the sandpaper um, just to get all the edges off, get it nice and even. Next step is going to be to tape it up, and if you can have that tape sitting nice and smooth make for a much cleaner finished product. With that, I think we have a mold. <laughs>